Hello mga kamatters! Welcome to our third video lessons. Mga kamatters, ang ating mga math enthusiasts and resilient students. I hope na napanood nyo na ang ating dalawang video lessons. Ang una natin ay lowest term at ang pangalawa ay addition and subtraction of similar fractions. Because today we are going to talk about subtraction of fractions from whole number and another fractions without or with regrouping similar fraction again i am your teacher in matters sir johnny olorvida let us begin let us answer this problem number one levy has three liters of water in the jar he drinks one and one fourth liters in a day how much liter of water was left in a jar remember kids don't forget to drink water every day. 8 to 10 glasses of water is the recommended by the DOH for us to become healthy at para maging maayos ang ating pakiramdam every day. Napakahalaga ng water sa ating katawan. So in this problem, what are we going to do? Very good. We are going to subtract. So what are we going to subtract in this problem? Okay, so very good. So we are going to subtract 3 minus 1 and 1 fourth. So there's a problem here. How are we going to subtract 1 and 1 fourth from 3? As you can see, 3 is a whole number and 1 and 1 fourth is a mixed number. So don't, we don't have numerator and denominator in number 3. So we are going to rename 3. Can you name a mixed number or mixed fraction which is equal to 3? Yes, that's right. 2 and 2 and 2 halves, that's correct. That is equals to 3. 2 and 4 fourths, yes, that is equal to 3. 2 and 5 fifths, yes, it is also equal to 3. Very good. So as for today, we are going to rename 3 as 2 and take a look at the denominator here, 4. So 2 and 4, 4. So we are going to use 2 and 4, 4. So that the same ang kanyang denominator. Then we are going to subtract 1 and 1, 4. So let us subtract 1 and 1, 4. So... Let us try. Let us see. 2 minus 1. What is the answer? Yes, that's 1. 4 minus 1. Okay, 3. Very good. And copy the denominator. So, our answer is 1 and 3 fourths. So, 1 and 3 fourths liter of water was left in the jar. Remember, to subtract fractions from whole number, rename the whole number into mixed number with the same numerator and denominator. Proceed with the subtraction of whole number, numerator, and copy the common denominator. Don't forget to express your answer in lowest term. That is very important. You have to express your answer in lowest term. Now, it is your turn. Let us see this problem. Let us solve this problem. You bought 5 kilos of rice. You help your mother in cooking 1 and 5, 10 kilos for your lunch. How many kilos was left? So, as you can see, during this pandemic, you have to help your parents at home in doing some household chores, just like cooking. So, you're, you have 5 kilos of rice, then your mother or you and your mother cooked 1 and 5, 10 kilos. How much was left? What operations are you going to use? And that's correct. Okay, so let us solve this problem. So 5 minus 2 and 5 tenths. So just what I said, we are going to rename 5. So rename 5 as 4 and 10 10. So don't forget to use 10 as our numerator and denominator when we are remaining because 
that is the denominator of our subtrahend. So, let us subtract 4 and 10 tenths. Uh, let us subtract 2 and 5 tenths from 4 and 10 tenths. Okay, so let, uh, what if, uh, we are going to subtract first the whole number, whole number 4 minus 2. What is the answer? Okay, that is 2. 10 minus 5, that is 5. And copy the denominator. So is this the, our final answer? No, because 5 tenths is not yet in lowest term. So we are going to divide 5 tenths into, what is the GCF of 5 and 10? Yes, that's right. So we are going to divide it into 5. But don't forget to copy number 2. Ayan. Kopyain natin si number 2. Then divide 5 divided by 5. That is 1. 10 divided by 5. That is 2. So our answer is 2 and 1 half. 2 and 1 half kilos of rice was left. Okay, very good. Now it is your turn. You can have your ball pen and your notebook or any piece of paper to solve this problem. Subtract 8 and 6 nines from 15. Begin. Okay, uh, very good. So our, our equation will be 15 minus 8 and 6, 9. Sayan, meron ng mga sagot ang ating mga kasama, mga matters. Okay, ang mga uh, resilient and matters. Ang mga enthusiast and resilient students natin. Okay, so what are we going to do with 15? So, rename 15 as 14 and denominator is 9. So, that will become our numerator and denominator. So don't forget that. So 14 and 9 nines minus. Okay, we are going to copy this subtrahend. Okay, so we are going to subtract the whole number. What are the whole number? 14 and 8. What is the answer? Good job. That's 6. 9 minus 6. Okay, 3. And copy the denominator. Is this our final answer? Okay, not yet. So, because we are going to divide it into, yes, that's great. 3, because 3 is the GCF of 3 and 9. So, don't forget to copy number 6. Then divide 3, divided by 3 is 3. Oh, no, it's not 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. And 9 divided by 3 is 3. So, our answer is, 6 and 1 third. Okay, I hope na nakuha natin ang uh, pagkakataon na to. So, let us try another problem. As you can see, meron tayong guava because fruits are rich in vitamin C. Your mother bought 5 and 1 8 kilos of guavas. Your family ate 2 and 5 8 kilos for lunch. How many kilos was left? So again, we are going to use subtraction. Very good. So we are going to subtract the fractions. We are going to subtract 5 and 1 8 minus 2 and 5 nines. Let us see. Okay, so we are going to subtract this fraction. So let us subtract 5 minus 2. Okay, 3. 1 minus 5, oh, it's our problem to be solved because 1 minus 5 is negative 4. So, negative 4 is not acceptable in fraction. So, this is wrong. Hindi pwedeng mag-negative ang ating numerator. So, what are we going to do? So, let us go back to our past lesson. Let us get 5 and rename it. So, rename 5 as 4 and 8, 8. So, ayan. So, 5 pa rin siya. Nirename lang natin. 4 and 8, 8. Then, that is only 5. Then, we are going to add 1, 8. So, i-add natin si 1, 8. Ayan. So, when we added 1, 8, our answer will become 4 and 9, 
Eight. Okay, very good. Eight nga raw naman to. Ayan. Eight. So, let us subtract. Four and nine eighths minus. Ayun, i-copy natin uli yung subtrahin na pa. Two and five eighths. So, four minus two. Okay, that's right. Two. Nine minus five. Okay, four. And don't forget to copy our denominator. Then express it in lowest term. So divide it into, yes. Very good, divide it into 4. So don't forget to copy number 2. Then 4 divided by 4 is 1. And 8 divided by 4 is 2. So our answer is 2 and 1 half. Okay? Next, let us see the next problem. Okay, so don't forget this child uh, matters, mga matters, to subtract fractions with regrouping. Rename the whole number into mixed number with the same numerator and denominator. Then proceed with subtraction of whole number, numerator, and copy the common denominator. Don't forget to express answer in lowest term. Okay, so I hope na nakuha natin ang generalization na to. Okay, can you uh, answer this? 4 and 3, 6 less than 7 and 1, 6. Okay? Okay, so let us see. That is less than. Okay, 4 and 3, 6 less than 7 and 1, 6. Okay, are you confused with the word less than? So our equation will become 7 and 1, 6 minus 4 and 3, 6. So, let us see. There's a problem in numerator. 1 is smaller than 3. So let us rename 7 as what? 6 and 6, 6. Very good. Nakukuha na ninyo. 6 and 6, 6. Then, don't forget to add 1, 6. So, na-add na natin ang 1, 6. And 7 and 1, 6 will become 6 and 7, 6. Okay. Then, we are going to proceed with the subtraction. Copy the subtrahend. 4 and 3, 6. Then, let us subtract the whole number. 6 minus 4 is 2. Very good. 7 minus 3 is... Four. So, our answer is 2 and 4, 6, but it is not yet in lowest term. So, we are going to divide it into 2. So, don't forget to write the 2. Then, 4 divided by 2 is what? Okay, that's correct. 2. 6 divided by 2? Okay, that's 3. So, our final answer is 2 and 2 thirds. Don't forget to encircle your final answer. Let us try this another. Subtract 6 and 4 pips from 9 and 2 pips. So what will be our menu hand? 6 and 4 pips or 9 and 2 pips? Okay, that's correct. So our menu hand will become 9 and 2 pips. Then we are going to subtract 6 and, don't forget the minus sign, 6 and 4 pips. Very good. So next, let us change. Oh, there's a problem again in numerator because 2 is lower than 4. So just what I told you, let us rename 9 into 8 and the denominator is 5. So 8 and 5 pips. Okay, then we are going to add what? That's great. We are going to add 2 pips. So, our menu end will become 8 and 7 fifths. Ang gagaling ng mga estudyante na susundan nila. Then, minus 6 and 4 fifths. Okay. So, pwede na tayo mag-subtract. Let us see. 8 minus 6. What is the answer? Very good. 2. 7 minus 4. Okay. That's 3. And copy the common denominator. So, is this our final answer? Yes. 
Because 3 and 5 are prime numbers. At wala na silang GCF. Okay, bang gagaling palakpakan natin ang ating ba uh, mga sarili. Good job, matters. So let us reflect. Do you understand my lesson for this morning? Type letter A if you understand, B if you still confused, and C if you don't understand the lesson. Pwede nyong panoorin ulit-ulit ang video na to para lalo nyo siyang matutunan. So, see you soon mga kamaters. Goodbye for, for this day and see you again maybe tomorrow for our next video regarding addition and subtraction of this similar fraction. Let us wait, math, enthousi uh, math enthusiasts and resilient students. I am your Sir Johnny and be ready for our video number four. Bye everyone!